It's a mess in here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be really honest. The last thing I want to do right now is make this video. Like, I do not know if this will ever make it to the internet. But for me, it's always helped me to get all my emotions out there. That way they're out of my system and they're not like suffocating me anymore. So that's what I'm doing with this. And I don't know if this is ever gonna make it on the internet. Um, but if it does, it probably won't be edited a lot because I wanna be as honest with you guys as possible and not hide behind a camera. So basically I've always told you guys or mentioned it that I have my own struggles which is very true right now <laughs> but I do have my own struggles and that comes along with disability. Just being different kind of makes you have struggles especially in today's society because different is looked down upon which I don't think it's always been that way and I don't think it should be that way but that's the way it is, that's the way we live in. So basically what I, I wanted to talk about some of those struggles that I'm dealing with today and I wanted to start with, I'm not doing this for attention or for views or to make you feel bad for me. I'm doing this so that you know that if you're experiencing this kind of thing, you're not alone. Like. Honestly, I'm tired of living behind a screen and saying that, oh, I have these struggles, but never really talking about it. So again, I'm not doing this to make you feel sorry for me. Please don't feel sorry for me. I'm really okay. Last night, I wrote it all down in this book, in this like journal thing I have. And it really helps me to write stuff down because then I get everything that's in my brain on paper and that, then I can look at it. Start by saying that I've always had these small little problems, or not small, but I've always had struggles in my life and a lot of difficulty dealing with things and processing my emotions. I, I can feel them, but it's hard for me to process them and know exactly what's going on. So I do go to a therapist and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that there's a stigma around therapy that people are like, oh, I don't want to go to therapy. But I do go to therapy. It's been really helpful for me. I've been going for like maybe a little over a year. And I go every other week and we just talk about whatever is on my mind and help me process some of those emotions that are harder for me to process. So a lot of these are like small topics that I could do a whole video on, but and I won't cram everything I think into this video. But if you want to see the whole thing, let me know. One of the struggles is, um, feeling lost and wanting a life for myself, wanting something for my life so bad, but not being able to get it. And that's really hard for me. I've been working on contentment for a while and patience and dealing with this is where I am right now and I can't do anything about it. I'm a very future person I think towards the future always with anything I'm doing I think okay down the line 10 years what is this gonna be and so that's where that comes from because I like I said I automatically think down the line and so so another thing is feeling that wishing I wasn't disabled which I've talked about before but just wishing that I was like everyone else and that I could do the things everyone else could do. But honestly, I cannot change my disability and I know that, but it's really hard for me to be okay with that. 
and because all I wanted to do was fit in and be like everyone else and that's all anyone wants is that satisfaction and that stability in their life but it's really difficult for me to get that <laughs> and another thing is feeling inferior or less than so I have a tendency to feel that I'm not good enough because of the limitations that I have or anything like that. I have always struggled with that and I feel like I'm like no one would ever want anything to do with me if that makes sense. Okay, another thing, and this is definitely going to be the longest one I could, but I'm just going to give you a short version if you want to see a full video on this. So, if you're struggling with this, like, let me know. We can talk about it. Um, I'll post a video about it. Another thing that's really hard for me is body image, which I know that, like, every girl struggles with this because of what we're surrounded with and social media and all that it's not natural to be surrounded with information and pictures all the time like that's not how we were created kind of sad that you go around on social media and it makes you hate who you are like that sad me but for me the struggle with my body image is Essentially, I used to be super duper skinny and now I'm not and the way that our society has portrayed everything That's not okay. I talked about this in a blog post, but it's next to impossible for me to Get healthy and like eat a certain way because these all these workout plans and Running on a treadmill or going to soul cycle every single day of your life or doing all these workout classes, that stuff doesn't work for me because I can't do them. And so, and I have extreme fatigue. So I wake up in the morning, I'm tired, I don't want to work out. And then when I have time that evening, and I'm like, I'm going to work out. I can't because I'm so tired. <laughs> the part of my brain struggling with this wants to look like all those girls that are the models and they're perfect but I compare myself too much to them uh, I compare myself too much to them because they can do all these workouts and go to these classes and bicycling and all that but I don't have the ability to do that and so I compare myself too much to them even though I know that we're not on the same track and that's okay. And even with like, it's not even just like working out and that kind of stuff, looking a certain way, it's not even that. It's every single time I go on Instagram or YouTube and I see a video of someone doing something, so stupid like maybe they're jumping on a table or running outside or go upstairs or do anything like that that's really hard for me to watch because i know that i can't do that and it just makes me feel even worse because every single thing i see a video that goes viral or it's all over Instagram those are videos of people being dumb and <laughs> doing this crazy fun stuff and I know that I can't run up a set of stairs or climb on a roof or jump on a table or anything like that it's also kind of hard for me to come to terms with what is on social media now, what gets the most views or most likes or makes it is 
the perfect Photoshop pictures or stupid videos of friends being friend goals or whatever that just make people feel worse about themselves rather than the stuff that actually means something on the internet. And that's really hard for me to come to terms with because it really makes me hate who I am because of my disability. Because I know I can't go out there and do all that. Last thing, I promise, like I know it seems like I'm a complete mess, but I'm usually not. So last thing is that I, something that I have struggled with that I've recently come to terms with, with my, with my therapist is social anxiety. So I do struggle with minor social anxiety. Well, it's not really minor, but it's not extreme. It's just kind of there. But, um, that can be a whole video within itself, but essentially, it's because I feel like everyone in the room is looking at me because I'm different and I may be struggling to do something or I don't know, anything like that. And I feel like everyone's looking at me and it makes me feel not good. <laughs> um, so I can make a whole video about that, talking about that in more detail about like what sets me off that kind of stuff but for now i'll just leave it with that so again what i want to say is i'm not doing this for attention or to make you feel bad for me or anything like that like i don't want you to be like you're so strong because everyone deals with this kind of stuff I just wanted to put it out there so that if anyone else is struggling with this same kind of stuff, they will know that they're not alone and that they'll relate to this video. I was talking with my physical therapist a couple of weeks ago and she said to me, she had me watch like a TED talk and she said to me like Vulner vulnerability is power. And I think that that's really true because being vulnerable and real is extremely hard to do for so many people. And I think that it's something that needs to be done and something that can move mountains if more people do it. <laughs> I will promise I will have more fun video coming out soon. But for now, I'm just going to leave it with this. Bye.